a scene straight out of a fantasy movie. This is our goal for our second part of the photo montage series. Let's go take a look. Howdy, today I'm going to add objects to a photo montage. And more specifically, we're going to add knights and dragons. If you haven't seen the first part of our photo montage series, we'll include the link right up here. So click on that to take a look at how to do it. And let's go take a look at how we're going to do today's lesson. All right, I got a project open here with my adjustments from last time. And to keep the previous layers from getting all mixed up, I select all the layers I created last time, right click, and then click on group. And let's rename the group so that we know what layers are contained within it. Next, let's add a picture of a dragon and rename the layer again. put the dragon in where I want, and let's rotate it as needed. At first glance, the dragon doesn't really fit the scene at all, so I'm going to have to tweak it quite a bit to have it look natural or just make it look like it actually belongs there. All right, so I'm gonna right click on the layer with the dragon and select add layer and then color. I'll link the color layer with the dragon layer so that the adjustments only affect that particular layer. I'll also lower saturation and make the dragon better blended with the purple sky. You can see that the dragon's belly and this part of the wing are much lighter, so we're gonna need to darken them. So let's add another layer, which will be an exposure layer. I add a mask to the exposure layer and then select hide all. This way I have the exposure adjustment hidden and I'll only reveal it where we want it to be revealed. Next, I'll use the B key to select the brush and paint white over the dragon. Of course, nothing happens, but just like in the last video, we know exactly why. Now we need to adjust the layer's exposure. I'll double click the layer to open it and then lower the exposure. I'll also lower the contrast as well as the white point. Next, I just use the brush to finish painting the areas that we need. And to make the scene feel less empty, I'm gonna add another dragon by selecting Paste from File. And this dragon happens to be flying, so I'm going to add it to the background so that it looks like it's about to land on this monastery here. And to help it blend in with the scene, I'm going to adjust its exposure. I add new exposure layer, which I link with the dragon layer and I lower exposure and slightly increased contrast. White point and significantly lower the black point so that the dragon looks more like a silhouette. And let's also lower the opacity for the dragon so that this will make it look like it's actually flying through the clouds. All right, the next object we're going to put in is the horseback riding knight. I'll open my photo with the knight in a new window in the editor module. And I'll select it using the selection tools. You might notice that this is another photo montage. And we've already edited the night's color and exposure. And if you add a photo taken in the daytime, you'll have to do further color adjustments just like I did for the monastery. As mentioned, I'm going to work with selection tools. And now we're gonna use the magnetic lasso, which is one of our favorites because we can use it to select almost any object. If you're working with the magnetic lasso and go outside the line just like I did, you can undo the selection using the delete or backspace key. You also might notice that there are places where the edges aren't very pronounced. And the magnetic lasso can get tricky because it selects objects with clearly defined edges.
double click to complete this selection. And since my selection also includes the areas between the horse's legs, I choose remove from selection and use the magnetic lasso to select and remove these particular areas. Now that I have the object selected, I'm gonna click Control C and then Control V to paste it onto my photo montage. And just like with previous objects, I need to correct the exposure for the night so that his left side isn't so bright. Right click the layer with the night and select Add Layer and then Exposure. Once again, I'll link the layer, add a mask and then select Hide All. Let's adjust the exposure and using the paintbrush with white, Let's reveal the adjustments once again. All right, that looks much better, but it's still missing just, just something. I need to add a shadow below the night. And I want to create a silhouette of the horse from a bird's eye view. And I found this picture of what a horse with a knight looks like from above, so I'm going to add it to a brand new layer. Next, I'll add an empty layer where we paint the silhouette. Let's use the B key to select the brush. And using black, let's paint over the picture to create the silhouette of the horse. Then, let's delete the layer with the picture. Now let's move the silhouette and use deform to get the right angle because the shadow needs to match the light source and as well as the other shadows around it. Next, let's select Adjustments and then Blur. And my shadow's gotta be blurred in relation to the other shadows and it can't have any sharp edges or everything's going to be off-putting and just look silly and fake. All right, let's choose the Gaussian Blur and then increase its strength. And after using that, I think now it looks much better and the whole picture starting to make a little bit more sense. Okay, let's reduce the opacity of this silhouette just to make it a little bit less dark and actually look like a shadow. And let's move the shadow layer below the layer with the horse so that the shadow is actually beneath the horse. And since I'm going to continue working on my photo montage next time, let's save it as a .zps file so that it saves all of our layers as well. All right, that's it for me. In the next installment, you can look forward to seeing us actually place the monastery into this photo montage and continue the project a little bit further and into fruition. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think below. Hit the subscribe button to never miss a video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.